So we knew landslides occur in Arizona, and we knew they occur in many different sort of geologic settings, but we didn't really know how many landslide features we have in Arizona. Uh, we didn't know the extent of the hazard, and so one of the goals of the AZ Slide database was to kind of compile all the known landslide features into one place and make it useful for emergency planners and anyone else that may want to know what the geologic hazard for landslide features are in their given part of the state. So one of the first things we did is just try to figure out where is all this data? You know, what maps show landslide deposits? What reports? Uh, so we went through basically all the Arizona Geological Survey maps and looked at some bibliographies, a lot of USGS maps. Um, some of these newer maps are available in a digital format. So we kind of started with the whole record, you know, paper maps, paper reports, stuff that's just on the web, digital data. And we kind of compiled everything together even using tools like Google Earth to just find new landslides that occurred in areas near previously mapped slides. Um, and what that resulted in is a little over 6,000 different landslide polygons uh, covering around 2,000 square kilometers. Uh, that's the current status of the AZ Slide database. Uh, and that's a minimum number of features because we know that there's probably thousands of more different debris flow hazards that we don't have in the database. Um, they're very common. Landslide features turn out to be much more common than we thought and much more widespread. None of these things were in one place before. So now with the AZ Slide database, we have all these features that we're aware of included in one place. So one of the, the next steps that we would like to do with that slide is do some field checking 